So let's just start with the march on the spot. Or you can march around your yard or your living room, wherever you are. And one other thing, Facebook, for those of you who haven't seen any of these workouts yet, um, I often turn to the side so you can see my form from this angle too. But you don't have to do that if you're doing the workout with us. You can just stay focused this way or whatever way you need. Just make sure you're not <laughs> craning your neck trying to see. Okay, take some steps side to side. Come off this mat a little bit and arms out and in and out and in. So it's going to be a mostly upper body focus. We will have some lower body in there um, to support, but we're going to do a lot of some push ups, some triceps extensions, some bicep curls. And we're going to incorporate like half burpees. So there isn't really going to be any jumping, but we'll be, I'll show you, we'll get into it. <laughs> okay, kick the heels to the back. And arms up and down. And I'm looking at the chat box, so I'm coming closer. Keep going. Okay, good. Thanks, Desiree. <laughs> Desiree says my voice is nice and clear, which is good. But the air compressor is not going off right now. So, <laughs> but the good thing is when it does go off, it's only a few seconds. Oh, cue the air compressor. So this is me talking over the air compressor. Hopefully, you can hear me still. <laughs> at least you can see me. So. <laughs> okay, kicks to the front and swing opposite arm, opposite leg if you can. Okay, just come standing on the spot and just do some nice, easy body weight squats. Start working all the stiffness and kinks out. If you have trouble squatting on your own, that's what the chair is for. Squat, sit, just sit down on your chair and stand up. You can use the arms if you need. You also don't have to match the tempo that I go at. You go at your own tempo, which means as fast or as slow as you need to go without compromising your form. So take it down for some push-ups now. If you can't get down on the floor for push-ups, use an incline, use a chair, use the back of the couch, use the wall if you need to. The wall is the easiest. But if you can on the ground, you can do them on your toes, do them on your knees, up to you. We're going to be doing a lot of push-ups today, but we're going to do more close grip push-ups. But always make sure to suck your belly button and just think of pulling it in to support your spine. Don't let your back drop. Keep a nice neutral back. Come stand back up and we'll do some lunges. Reverse lunges, just stepping back, lowering down, alternating legs. Like I said before, if you have bad knees and you can't lunge, these are your options. You can just squat. You can squat to your chair, or you can just step back without going down, stepping back. If you need to hang on to something, you can do that for balance too. But if you can lunge, lunge. Actually, what we're gonna be doing later with the lunge is a static lunge, so it's just holding it here in place. So your options are holding it here in place, holding a squat in place, or just squatting to your chair. Because you can't really hold a squat in place on your chair because you'd just be sitting. Okay, come on up. Do some nice spinal twists, nice and easy. Just gently back and forth.
and back down for a few more push-ups or against the wall or the chair, whatever you're doing for your push-ups. That's a new bird sound. I haven't heard that one yet. Okay, come on up. Oh, oh, they're magpies, I think. Squats. And some lunges. Or step backs, or continue your squats, like I mentioned before. Okay, grab some water. So you don't have to use any weight for this workout at all. You can just use your body weight. You can just squeeze your muscles instead of curling an actual dumbbell or a soup can. So we're gonna be doing some bicep curls. We're gonna be doing some tricep like close grip push-ups. So instead of having your hands here, I want you to have your hands close together. So your elbows are sliding right along your torso, right along your rib cage. So they're gonna look like this. You can do them, like I said, on your toes or on your knees or against the wall. We're gonna be doing an overhead tricep extension. So for this, I'm gonna want you to have your belly button sucked in, your ribs down. You don't need a weight, but you can use one weight for this if you want. You can use your band. If you have a band, you can step on it. You can also step on an exercise band and curl. Um, you probably won't need the band for the push-ups. And then we're gonna be doing like a half burpee. So you're gonna be going down, jumping out, push up, and standing up. So we're not jumping today, we're just gonna stand up because we're also gonna curl with that too. If you can't go down for the burpee, jump out, just take the jump out and step back, lower down gently, step in. Easier than that, you can just step out, step in and stand up and skip the push up. Or if you can't go into plank position at all from the floor, you can use an incline like this. So you're not reaching down to the floor already. And if you can't plank out like this either, if that's still too hard, you can just bend over and touch the chair. And we're gonna be curling with that too, but I'll show you that later. And then in the second half, we're gonna get into a stationary lunge. So that's holding it up. You're not on the ground like that resting, you're holding it up and we're gonna be curling. And then we're gonna switch legs. So if you can't do that lunge, like I said, this is your option. You can hold a squat or you can squat to your chair. Um, and then we're gonna do another half burpee version, but it's gonna be out. Push up, in, out, push up, in, without standing up. So there's two options on the floor for that, but if you can't get on the floor, like I said before, just use your chair. Okay, I'll promise I'll go through all that as we go as well. We're gonna get started in a few seconds with the close grip push up. I'm gonna let you know when the circuit is about to end and you're gonna to go to the next exercise. So I'll cue you through that, with that through the whole workout. Birds today, okay. And five, four, three, two, tricep push up. So close grip, elbows are by your side. Hands are right underneath your chest. Tuck your belly button in. You also don't have to stop when I stop because I'll be taking my own rest through this workout too. So stop whenever you need to stop and come back whenever you're ready. 10 seconds left and we're gonna stand up and do some bicep curls. So I'll just show you this angle. Okay, come on up, grab your dumbbells if you're using them or your band, stand on your band and just curl. So we want the palms up for this one. Palms facing forwards. These are shorter circuits than usual, but we're gonna do more of them.
Put the weights down and rest whenever you need. Ooh, these are awkward. <laughs> 10 more seconds and we're gonna go back to our tricep push-up. Two seconds. Okay, back to your tricep push-up, close grip push-up, whether you're on the floor or you're standing against the wall. Air compressor agrees. <laughs> Halfway through this one. So the harder the version of the move you're doing or the heavier the weight you're using, the more you're gonna have to rest. And that's okay, that's a good thing. Three seconds left and we're gonna stand up and do curls. All right, grab your dumbbells. Or you don't have to have dumbbells. You can just squeeze and curl with no weight. Just squeeze real hard. I promise we're gonna be doing enough of these that even if you don't have weights, you'll have a good workout. And you can also slow the tempo down to make it harder if you have real light weights and you don't feel like they're heavy enough. 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna go back down for tricep push-ups. Three seconds. Okay, back down, close grip push-ups, or against the wall, or the counter, whatever incline you're using. Suck your belly button in. You're looking down at the ground, neck is neutral. You're not looking up, you're not looking to the side. And you want to think of having a tight back, even though you're pushing. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but you want to have a tight back so you support all your little muscles in your shoulder girdle. We don't want them popping out like this. We want a tight back. 10 seconds left. Stand up and do more curls. Oh, now we have a saw. Stand up, grab your dumbbells, and curl. Palms are facing up. Feed. You don't have to have your feet together like me. You could have more of an athletic stance. I'm just doing that now because these are pretty wide and I need a lot of clearance for them to be able to come down properly. So you could be here if you don't need that much room for your giant oil jugs you're using. 10 seconds left. And then down for more push-ups. After this, we're gonna stand up and do one more round of curls and then switch it up. Oh, now the nail gun. Or I guess it's a staple gun. That's what the air compressor is for. Nine seconds left. Okay, come on up. Last set of curls for this combo. Palms facing up. Also grab water whenever you need through the workout. Gonna have a good arm pump today after this. 15 seconds left and then we're gonna go to our overhead tricep extension. Three seconds. Okay, so you can have one heavy weight over your head Elbows are tucked in to get, well, not together, but close to your head. 
They're not way out wide, they're facing forward. Or you can use two really light dumbbells, or lighter, or you can step on your exercise band and pull it over your head. Suck your belly button in. Keep those abs engaged. Neutral spine. After this, we're going back to a curl. Now we're doing a bicep curl, but do a hammer curl. So keep your palms facing together. See, I'm not turning my palms up. They're together. So if you have no weight, you're just squeezing. Flexing those biceps. <laughs> Suck your belly button in. Keep your core engaged this whole time. Ooh, these are getting heavy. 13 seconds left and we're gonna go to our burp, half burpee and then a curl, which I will show you. Six seconds left. Okay, half burpee, come out. If you can jump, down for a push up. Jump in, grab your dumbbells, curl. Down or step out. Push up and curl. You can't push up, skip the push up and just plank. Or like I said before, use your chair. Or just bend over if you can't plank. 14 seconds left and we're gonna stand up and just curl. Okay, bring it back to that hammer curl. Dumbbells, hands, sorry, palms facing together. After this, we're gonna go back to that burpee we just did, half burpee and the stand up curl. My arms need a break. 12 seconds left. Don't worry about missing out on these hammer curls because there's gonna be more, a lot more. Okay, down for that burpee. Or whatever version you're doing, stand up, curl. Take out the jump. Just step back if you can't jump back. Fifteen seconds left. And then after this, we're going to go to our static lunge. Three seconds. Okay. If you can lunge, hold on the spot and just curl. Hammer curl. One leg only. Palms facing in. Rest as much as you need for this. Your legs are going to get tired. Your arms are going to get tired. If you can't hold that lunge down, just step back like this and hold it. Or you want something a little bit harder, hold the squat at the bottom. Or squat to your chair if you can't do the pause at all. Six seconds left and we're going to switch legs. Switch legs and switch to a regular bicep curl. So palms are facing up again. So now you're holding the opposite leg in place and your palms are facing up. I might have to switch to my bricks. Keep going. <laughs> They also make less noise. <laughs> 14 seconds left. 
After this, we're gonna go to our half burpee with the push up. So there's no standing, it's just planking out and in. Three seconds. Okay, so for this, you're going out, push up, jumping in. Out, push up, jumping in. Over and over and over. Like I said before, if you can't jump out, step out, step in. Step out, push up, step in. If you're using your chair, same idea. If you can do the push-up, do the push-up. If you can't, you're just planking. Or you're just bending over, touching your chair. 10 seconds left. And we're gonna go back to our static lunge bicep curl. Now the train's coming. Okay, grab your dumbbells. One leg, static lunge, hold it. Don't rest that back foot on the ground. Hammer curl, palms facing together. Rest three days, I gotta do my rest day. So that back, oh, whoopsies. <laughs> that back knee is not touching the ground. It's about an inch above the ground. This leg here is at a 90 degree angle. Five seconds left, switch leg. Switch legs and switch curls, palms facing up. You can be doing this with no weight. Or like I said before, just stepping back and curling or holding the squat at the bottom or doing your squats on the chair. 20 seconds left and we'll go back to our half burpee. Um, planking in and planking out with the push up. 10 seconds left. Four seconds. Half burpee. Jumping out if you can, push up, jump in. Out, push up, in. Take the jump out if you can't do the jump. Or use your incline. 20 seconds left. Tuck the elbows in on the push up. Bring them close to your torso, to your ribs. We don't want them way out wide. Four seconds left. Okay, come on up for your static lunge. One leg, holding that lunge on the spot. Hammer curl, palms facing in. Twenty seconds left. seconds. Okay, switch legs. If you're lunging and curl with your palms facing up, keep your elbows close to your body. I'll show you from this angle. Not even really working those legs much, it feels like, but they're tired. 15 seconds left. And then we'll go back down for our half burpee push up. Eight seconds. Okay, down for your half burpee. Jump out if you can, push up, and in. Hands are close together. Elbows tight to the body. Suck the belly button in. 
Keep your gaze down to the floor. You don't have to drop to your knees on the push-up. You can stay on your toes if you want. 10 seconds left. Then we'll go back up for the lunge curl. Come on up. One leg. Static lunge. You're doing it. Hammer curls. Palms facing together. Palms facing in. Back of your hands are facing out. Take a rest whenever you need for as, as long as you need. 16 seconds. And then we'll switch legs. Six seconds. Two seconds. Okay, switch legs and palms are up for this curl. If you're not doing the static lunge, you're either just lunge, you're stepping back or you're holding a squat at the bottom or you're squatting to your chair. Twenty seconds left, and then we'll go back down for our half burpee push up. Don't forget to breathe. Five seconds left. Two seconds. Okay, half burpee. Jumping out. Push up. Same as before. Elbows close to the body. Hands are underneath your shoulders or even closer. Get more triceps. Twenty seconds left. I'm gonna have a water break. Only a couple more left and then we're done. Ten seconds. And then we're gonna come on up again for our lunge. Whew, stand up. Hold one lunge in the air. Hammer curl, palms together. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds, and then we're going to switch legs. Six seconds. Okay, switch legs. Palms facing up curl. Or if you're not holding this lunge, like I said before, you're stepping back, or you're holding the bottom of a squat, or you're squatting to your chair. Palms facing up. You can just drop the weights and squeeze your biceps too. This is our last set. 15 seconds left. Five seconds. Ooh, that's it. Grab some water. Walk around if you need. Heart rate shouldn't be too, too high for this one but it'll be up a little bit still. So just make sure you don't sit right away. <coughs> Excuse me. And come join me when you're ready and we'll have a little stretch. Lots of upper body. Okay, when you're ready, if you still feel like you need to move around, keep your legs going. You can wander, you can step side to side. 
I kind of just sway and take little steps forward and back. Whatever you want to do. Okay, one arm, cross the body, use the other arm to help pull that, oh, my shoulder cracked, <laughs> gently pull that arm across your body, stretching the shoulder a little bit into the upper back. Switch arms. So we did a lot of upper body volume today. So some of you might be sore the next couple days. Me, I usually get the sores like two days after. So massage is great for that. Or if you can take a hot bath and Epsom salts, that really helps too. Magnesium is a good supplement for that as well. Okay, other, or take one arm. <laughs> Hand behind your back. Use the opposite arm to pull that elbow towards your head. Keep your ribs down, ribs down, belly button in. We don't want flared ribs out like this and arched back, and we don't want to be round, straight up and down. Neutral spine, stretching the back of the arm, the tricep. Walking is also good recovery too. Walking is a great underrated movement that it's good for recovery. It's good for just general um, weight loss really because you it doesn't impede your recovery like other cardio can. Switch arms. Try to get those 10,000 steps a day. It really makes a difference. And those of you that have iPhones and don't have a Fitbit, like me, if you have your phone attached to you, like on your hip or something in your pocket or on a clip, there's a health app in your iPhone that's automatically there that tracks your steps. So you can always check that and see what your steps are through the day. Okay. It's getting warm out here. Hands up to the side. Arms relatively straight. Fingertips to the ceiling, to the sky. Think of pushing the heels of your hands away from you. And gently bringing your arms behind you, just barely. You don't even really have to move them much to feel it and you'll feel a stretch in the bicep. Belly button in, ribs down. Shoulders are down away from your ears. They are not up by your ears, they are down. Shake them out. Now lace your hands behind you. Shoulders down, belly button in, ribs down. Think of pulling your hands up away from you behind you. Stretching the chest and the front of the shoulders. If you have the flexibility and you like to do this, I do. You, not everybody does. If I flip my palms the other way for a little bit and it stretches a little bit deeper into the bicep and into the forearms. But only if you can and you want to. Another good stretch, I don't have a wall for this, but if you can put your hand against a wall, just nice and gently lean into it, that gets a little bit deeper in the biceps as well. Okay, let's do a quad stretch. Hang on to something if you need balance. I might just do that. <laughs> Lift one leg behind you. Knees are together, belly button in, ribs are down, shoulder is down, pulling this foot towards that butt cheek. Feeling the stretch in the front of the leg and the quad. You can use both hands if you need to. Just keep those knees together. We don't want it out here. Think of pushing your pelvis that way. Switch legs. Okay. 
okay. If you can come down on your knee for a hip flexor stretch this way, do that. If not, continue alternating legs with your quad stretch. Make sure you have a mat or a pillow underneath this knee. This foot is on the ground. You're lunging forward, just dropping into it, forward and down. I always hang on to something here. Keep your, helps keep your hips square. Facing forward and relax into it, stretching the hip flexor right in the front here. You can lift your arm up. That helps a little bit. Get further up into your intercostal here. Switch legs. You should feel this a little bit too in the hamstrings and in the glutes. If you go lower onto the ground, you'll feel it more deeper in here. That's up to you. If you want to continue stretching after, I recommend that. Getting those hips, hitting those hips from all angles. Hamstring stretch. If you want to stay on the ground, you can lay down. Straighten one leg, pull it towards you, stretching the hamstring here. Or you can do it standing this way. One leg bent, leaning on the bent leg, stretching this straight leg here. Switch leg. You have a yoga strap that can help too. Glute stretch you can do on the ground too. You can cross one ankle over the opposite thigh. Grab this leg here and pull it towards you and think of pushing this knee away from you. Stretching the glutes and the, the hip on this side. Or if you're not on the ground, you can do this in your chair, sitting, crossing your leg over, pushing this knee away from you, thinking of that, and just leaning into it. Switch legs. stretch. Bring one toe up against the wall or the chair. Straighten that leg and just bring your body towards the wall, stretching the calf. You bend your knee after a little bit, it'll get deeper into your lower calf, into your soleus, which is good too, and like just above your Achilles. Switch legs. Moving. Another train already. <laughs> Busy day today.